I bought this machine, Kenwood, about seven months ago and in fact I did a review on it pointing out some of the things I liked and some of the things I didn't. Well after only seven months it's packed up and what it is it's the switch. Now I actually found out by accident which I didn't know when I first reviewed it that it is in fact a two position switch and the, sw the first position um, puts it on slow and the last position puts it on fast. Well as I pointed out in the first video it's so hard to actually press this or slide it I should say that I never knew this until quite by accident but now of course this is what happens <laughs> I've broken it completely now <laughs> oh. Well, it, it sort of works, but only in the full position. And this morning, when I was actually trying to clear up some mess, I found it wouldn't press at all. Now, as it's seven months old, theoretically, it should be under warranty. Well, I found the receipt. I always keep receipts because I find these days things have such a short life that if you can't either get your money back, which I don't expect as this is now um, July I bought this, so it's still quite a long way um, in, its, in its warranty, but I'm going to ring Briscoe's now, which is um, the place I bought it from, and see what they say, whether they will accept it back, probably for repair, or whether they palm it off on the distributors because it's obviously not made in this country this is anything all we make in this country is sheep and cows all right i appreciate your help thank you kindly thank you bye bye well that was fairly painless and um, that was the main service center for briscoe's um, and they have suggested not unreasonably that i take it back to the store and show them the fault and um, they can either offer me a replace something similar or a refund or they take it away for evaluation in case they can't work out that it's the switch that's useless i could probably repair it myself but why should i it's a simple matter that, i mean i know what's wrong the switch is probably either corroded um, because the mistake i've made is i've been using it I mean, so it's clearly my fault. Um, anyway, <laughs> we won't get wound up on this because um, I'm hoping there's going to be... Um, I don't really want a refund, to be honest. I want a vacuum cleaner that works. That's why I bought it to start with. But I should have seen the writing on the wall because the first one I bought uh, was faulty <laughs> on delivery. But ironically, the thing I thought would fail, which was the power input, didn't and hasn't. Um, the switch has always been hard to use, which you'll see if you look at the original video, but um, that hasn't failed because it's hard to use. It's failed because it's basically a piece of crap. I took the unit back to Briscoe's and I have to say their customer service and response to the problem was 100%. They offered me a choice of a refund or a replacement unit or a different unit with a price adjustment. Now as I had two of the Kenwoods before um, I wasn't going to go for a third one. As far as I'm concerned the product is not very good. Ironically they're still selling them. I decided to give Black and Decker another go. I've used their products in the past. I'm going to review it later on so watch out for the next video to see if it's any good. I have to say this wasn't a direct replacement. It cost me another $30 on top of the other unit. Now the other one cost me $60 originally, which was already a million percent discount. And this one, like is typical of Briscoe's, if you go at the right time, there are potentially huge discounts. But 
I think it's a case if it's marked up so you can mark it down. Anyway, cost me an extra $30, so let's see if it's worth another $30. Thanks for watching.